Brothers and sisters, I speak to you now with a voice that echoes from the heavenly realms, sounding an alarm that must not be ignored. The time is urgent and the signs are upon you, though many still slumber in the comfort of ignorance. Open your ears. The earth groans beneath the weight of humanity's disregard, and creation itself cries out for justice. Listen and heed, for the urgent call from St. Michael, the archangel is not a matter of distant concern, but a pressing reality that unfolds even as you draw breath. Beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, you have been given dominion over this world, yet you have treated it as a thing to be exploited rather than cherished. I tell you truly, the weather itself has become a sign of your times, a reflection of the disorder that has taken root in the hearts of mankind. Even the most advanced technologies and the greatest of human intellects now falter in their attempts to predict the movements of the earth, sky, and sea. Do you not see? The elements are no longer within your grasp to control, and this is but the beginning of what is to come. The weather has become a fierce and unpredictable foe, turning against you as a consequence of your own choices. Once you relied on the rhythm of seasons and the forecast of storms, but now the patterns that once brought security are shattered. Tempests arise without warning, and scorching heat descends upon lands unprepared. Even as your scientists and forecasters struggle to make sense of it, their instruments fail and their predictions fall short, for they do not perceive the spiritual dimensions that underlie these physical upheavals. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, you are like the frog placed in a pot of slowly heating water, unaware of the danger until it is too late. The world around you is changing, not gradually, but with a quickening pace that should alarm even the most complacent among you. Yet I see many of you living as though there is no threat, as if you have been lulled into a false sense of security by the comforts and distractions of modern life. You are surrounded by signs, yet you close your eyes to them. You are deafened by the noise of this age. You refuse to hear the call of the spirit. The waters rise, the winds howl, and the fires rage but your hearts remain unmoved. The earth itself trembles as if in the throes of agony, but your spirits do not stir. What will it take for you to awaken, to recognize that the pot is boiling and that time is running out? I call upon you now to repent, to turn your gaze heavenward, for there is a storm coming that no man can withstand without the grace of God as his shield. Do not be like the frog that perishes in its obliviousness. Take heed and prepare, for the hour is late, I bring to you specific warnings for the lands and the peoples who dwell upon them. These are not mere words, but signs that will soon come to pass, unless there is a turning of hearts and a humbling of souls before the Almighty. To the inhabitants of the coastlands, hear my words. The seas will surge against you with a force not seen in generations. The waters that once brought life and trade will turn against you, swallowing up your cities and erasing your borders. Do not trust in the dikes and walls you have built, for they will crumble before the fury of the ocean. Repent and pray, for only the mercy of God can stay the tide that threatens to consume you. To those who dwell in the heartlands where the soil has been your sustenance, take heed. The rains will cease and the rivers will dry up, leaving the earth cracked and barren. Your crops will wither and your cattle will perish for lack of water. Famine will grip the land and many will cry out in hunger. This is a sign to you, a call to return to the Lord in humility, for only He can open the heavens and restore the rains in their season. To those who trust in the works of your hands, who build towers of iron and glass, know this. Your cities will become like ovens, baking under a sun that scorches without mercy. The heat will become unbearable, and many will fall as the air itself becomes a weapon against you. Your machines will falter, and the power grids will fail, leaving you in darkness. This is a warning to turn away from your pride and self-reliance. Seek refuge in the shelter of the Most High, for He alone is your fortress. To those in the far reaches where ice and snow have always been your covering, beware. The cold that has been your protection will turn against you as the great glaciers break and the permafrost gives way. Waters that have been frozen for millennia will be unleashed, bringing floods and devastation. Know that this too is a sign, a call to awaken from your spiritual slumber. Cry out to the Lord, for He is your salvation in the face of these changes. 
You are living in times of great significance, yet so many of you walk as though in a dream. Understand this, the earth itself is a witness to the sins of mankind, and it bears the marks of your transgressions. Do you not see that the elements are responding to the weight of human sin? That creation itself groans for the revealing of the sons of God? Your world is on the brink, not merely of environmental collapse, but of a spiritual reckoning. Children of God, I call upon you to recognize the danger that is at your very door. You have been given eyes to see and ears to hear, yet many of you choose blindness and deafness over the truth that is set before you. You are living without comprehending the nearness of the danger, as if you have been anesthetized by the comforts and lies of this age. The time is coming, and now is, when you must choose whom you will serve. Beloved children, the Almighty is not pleased with the state of your world, yet His mercy endures even now. He calls you to repentance, to a turning away from the path of destruction and towards the path of life. The warnings are given not to instill fear, but to bring about a change of heart. Return to the ways of righteousness and seek the face of God while He may still be found. Now is the time for prayer, for fasting, and for acts of charity that demonstrate your love for one another. Build your houses upon the rock of faith, not upon the shifting sands of human wisdom. Return to the sacraments and let the word of God be your guide. Teach your children the ways of the Lord, for they will be the ones to carry the light into the dark days ahead. Do not wait for the storm to be upon you before you begin to prepare. Strengthen your hearts in the Lord and gather together in communities of faith. Let the love of God be the shelter in which you find refuge, for in Him alone is your safety assured. I speak to you not to bring despair, but to awaken hope. For though the earth may tremble and the seas may roar, the Lord of hosts is with you. His angels surround you, ready to guard and protect those who call upon His name in truth. Take up the armor of faith, gird yourselves with the truth of His word, and stand firm in the day of trial. The clock is ticking and the sands of time are running out. I plead with you to take these words to heart. The changes that are coming cannot be stopped by human hands, but your response can determine your fate. Choose this day whom you will serve, for the choice is yours to make. The Lord extends his hand to you even now, offering his mercy to all who will turn to him. Do not delay for the time of decision is upon you. May the peace of the Lord be with you, and may His angels guide you through the storm that is to come. Be vigilant, be prayerful, and above all, be faithful, for the Lord is near to all who call upon Him in spirit and in truth.